Hi guys, and welcome back to Mama Just Knits. I'm Jess, coming to you from Virginia. Today is June the 15th, it is a Monday, and this is episode 23. I don't think I ever remember to say what episode I'm on. If you are new, welcome. If you are a subscriber, or maybe you haven't subscribed yet, but you have watched a couple of videos, welcome back. Um... You can find me on Rivalry and Instagram under Mama Just Knits. You can find me, I have a Rivalry group called Mama Just Knits Podcast. I also have a Facebook group called Mama Just Knits. Or you can email me if you need to at mamajustknits at gmail.com. Um, it is a little bit of a dreary day. It looks like it's going to rain. It's super cloudy outside. I am back in my... Um, original location where I film podcasts and I am slowly but surely turning this room into my craft room um, because I not only knit but I crochet and I do some sewing. I'd like to do more sewing. We'll see. Um, so you can see a little bit of the shelf that I just put together behind me and one of the paintings that a friend painted me which I'll bring into view because it's gorgeous so I decided to put that in my craft room bring me some joy while I'm crafting not that I'm not already joyous while I'm crafting <laughs> all right so this is a knitting podcast <laughs> let's go ahead and jump right in I'm going to show you guys my finished objects I have one finished object. It is a big one though. And let me get it. I finished my cover shawl, covered shawl by Alicia Plummer. I did this shawl in uh, Barocco Vintage in the, the color pumpkin which right there is pretty accurate as to what it is color-wise. Um, it took me two skeins and I broke into the third skein right about right about here. <laughs> So I only used a tiny bit of a third scheme, but that's okay. Um, that makes three skeins of yarn that I used in my stash. So I can't complain because my goal right now is to knit with stash, even though you guys have seen, I'm still buying some yarn. Um, I will say that we are halfway through the month today and I am super proud of myself for the small amount of yarn I've bought this, this month. I've used more than I've bought. Um, so that is my first finished object. My second finished object, because I actually have two this episode. I finished my McGonagall socks. Yay! These were my one of my... Um, my goodness, my socks for my May box of socks. Well, it was my May sock for my box of socks. One of my boxes of socks. So, the body of this is Nomadic Yarns in the McGonagall colorway. And then the uh, cuff, heels, and toes were done in Knit Pick Stroll in the Dove Heather. Wait, Heather Dove colorway, I believe. Um, I might not have that right, but I know it is Dove something. Dove Heather or Heather Dove. Anyway. So, two finished objects. Um, I know that I show a lot of socks, and they're what we call vanilla socks in the knitting world, which just means they don't really have a pattern. It's just a simple sock but that pattern is the one that I have pretty much memorized 
and um, it's easy for me to do. I'm going to eventually challenge myself and do a pattern. I just haven't yet. So bear with me because I do have a half finished object that I am trying to put on my sock blockers because yes, it is a sock. Okay, I finished. I'm pretty sure I think I had this started on my last podcast, but I finished one of my um, dark side socks. And this yarn is Knit Picks Fleechy. And the colorway is called Dark Side. I really like how that knitted up. There's like, this is the only dark part about it, but I really love it. Um, they're just bright, cheerful, even with the dark in there. It just is cheerful. So that is my half finished object. And I will go right on into Whips, which is works in progress. And I will start with my second dark side sock, which I just started. I um, worked on this just a tiny bit this morning, right before our podcast, um, just so I would have something more than one row to show you guys. <laughs> so I have about six rows done. Um, so that's my first work in progress. My second is right here on this shelf, although that's not where I keep it, but I have hardly ever work on it. So, you know, it hurts my hands and I've told you all that before, but it's my husband's socks done in the Heritage Cascade Yarn, sock yarn, Heritage 150. And I actually have gotten to the part where I'm getting ready to start the foot. I have finished the gusset, which is this area right here. There we go. This area right here is the gusset. So I have got it to the point where I'm getting ready to start on the foot of it. But I can only do about five rows before my hand starts to kind of ache. So that will be a work in progress for a while. I was hoping to have it maybe done by Father's Day, but I don't think I'm going to. Because even if I did five rows a day, that still wouldn't give me the foot length I need for him. So, it'll get done sooner or later. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys another sock. I promise I don't have just all socks to show you guys today. Um, I started my, ah, my hippo socks. This is called, um, so this is part of her, um, hippo for celebrations line that she has going on. It's like a monthly subscription that I subscribe to. It is by Lolo Did It, and the color is Manny Petty Day. So, not bad, because I just started this yesterday. Let's see. So, it's got oranges, pinks, red. So, that's going to be super cute when it is done. And that will go in my box of socks that I have for just my Hippo 4 box of socks. Um, which... That will be my sixth pair to go in that box. And my dark side will be my sixth pair to go in my other box of socks. This year I got really ambitious and decided to do two boxes of socks for myself. 24 socks. It's going to be all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you next um, my memory blanket. I'm going to show you my big one first. I only did two squares on it since I last podcast, but I will show you those. So I've done this square and this square. Guys, 
I got this yarn from somebody else and it is uber soft. I have no idea what color it is. It's just some scraps left over from somebody that sent me a bag of scraps in the mail, but so soft. So it's coming along. I, um, maybe this week I'll get this row completed and then can move on up to the, to the next row. So that's my big, um, memory blanket. And I usually participate in Scrappy Sunday with Kay from Crazy Sock Lady, the Crazy Sock Lady. Yesterday I didn't. I, um, really wanted to get my McGonagall socks done. So I got those done. Um, or no, I finished those, not yesterday, the dark side sock. I really wanted to get done. So I finished that yesterday and then started that, um, the Manny Petty sock and then started the second, uh, dark side sock. And then I decided to put together my shelf for my craft room. So I didn't get hardly any knitting done yesterday and I definitely didn't do any on my, um, scrappy blankets. But here is my scrappy blanket that is made only out of yarn that I have knit with. And I did manage to get two squares um, put on here since I last podcast. So, sorry, it's got that needle in there. I always go ahead and put the needle and everything in for the next square. That way I don't lose my needle. Guys, I love this color. It's going to be in my Find Your Fade shawl. And I just love it. It's super soft. Mm, love it. I'm a sucker for soft yarn, if you haven't noticed. Um, so that is the Memory Blanket by Georgie Nicholson. I just uh, changed it a little bit, and I'm using sock yarn instead of DK. Um, I do the same amount of cast on stitches and everything else exactly how she does her DK blanket just I'm doing it with socks so our fingering weight um now since I finished a covered shawl I decided to start another one because the one I finished is a gift the one I started um, is also not for myself. This will be the third covered shawl I have made, and I don't get to keep any of them. Um, the first one my daughters have claimed. Anyway, this is in my Snickle and Mr. B bag that I won. I love this bag. It is such an awesome bag for a shawl project. Um, so the color I'm doing is this, whoops, stick a needle through. Um, the color I'm doing this in is Baroque Vintage. Um, it is a, best described as a mustardy brown or a spicy mustard, as I like to say. Um, and I have gotten, oops. Only this far on it. But I wanted to show you guys my cute little stitch markers that are, also came in a package that I won the same weekend I won this bag. Bees and flowers. Because that this kind of reminded me of a little bit of honey. So, yeah. So there's the beginnings of a third covered shawl and I have yarn for at least two more possibly three I know for sure two um because I'm going to make another one of the wine colored ones that I made that my daughter stole um and then I have a gray I think I bought a dark gray and a light gray because I have a friend that wants one but I wasn't sure if they wanted it in dark gray or light gray, so I think I bought both. I honestly can't remember. Um, but yeah. So that that's all of my 
works in progress. So what is up next? Um, I am going to start, I believe, a mold spice hat by Alicia Plummer because I'm supposed to be doing a year of Alicia and I'm supposed to be making projects for myself and I've yet to do that. I mean, I have several things on the needles. I have two of her other shawls. I have a wrap by her on the needles and I have a cardigan by her on the needles. And I haven't finished any of those. So that brings me to my next working project or work or my next what's next. I'm going to start grabbing one of my projects that I have sitting around in various bags um, that are either, you know, halfway done or almost done or, you know, a fourth of the way done or whatever. So I'm going to start taking those projects and I'm going to start working my way through my house and finishing those projects. So that is one of my up next things. Another up next will be another pair of the Harry Potter socks. Um, because I think, I'm pretty sure I told you guys on my last podcast that I want to do um, a, like a Harry Potter collection of socks. And I want to knit every one of my family um, Harry Potter socks based upon a character that they have chosen. And I need to get started on that because there are seven of us in our house. Um, and then... I have my oldest daughter who doesn't live at home anymore, but I still, she still likes knit stuff. So I still have several projects um, for her that I need to make. And I just sat down and made a list of all of the socks that I wanted to knit um, for her family members. And I have a lot. Some of those I already have on the needles, some I don't. I counted up the other day, somebody asked me how many pairs of socks I had made. And I counted that up. Now I can't remember the number. But I do remember that I have eight pairs of socks on needles. Eight. I need to get them done. So, anyway. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this podcast that I have an exciting announcement to make. And I'll make that in just a moment. But I want to show you what I've gotten in the mail. And it's not much. It's not going to take me very long. Um, a while back, sorry about that noise. A while back, I showed um, the Hippo for Celebrations, um, the blue yarn that I got that's called Bubble Bath. And I talked about how much I loved it and everything. Well, I got this to make Hills and Hills Toes and Cuffs. I figured since it's called Bubble Bath, and this is called Just Ducky, that that would kind of be cute to do. So this yellow will be Hills, Toes, and Cuffs. I thought about getting a, her, a different color that she carried called Bumble. It's a darker yellow, brighter, it kind of more reminded me of a rubber duck. But I just couldn't get over the fact that this is called Just Ducky. So this will become Hills and Toes on that pair of socks, which I think is going to be my next month's, um, hippo four socks. And then, um, so my husband is very, I don't know what the word is, into politics and things like that. Um, he likes red, white, and blue things, you know, the American flag and all that good stuff. So, Lauren at Lolo Did It has this yarn called Freedom. Red, white, and blue, baby. So, I'm going to make him a pair of socks out of this with red heels and toes. And then, because I will have enough yarn left over... I'm going to make myself a pair of socks and do blue 
heels and toes. And that's all. That's all I've that's all I bought yarn wise. Um of course I still have my two memberships to yarn uh clubs through Lauren. Um so my hippo for celebrations will arrive soon and then I have her Downton Abbey club that usually arrives toward, more towards the end of the month. Um, I think the Hippo for Celebrations has been mailed out, so that will surface in my next podcast. But that is all I have bought. Um, so I'm super proud of myself because I have used up so far this month five skeins of yarn. And I have only bought one full three little minis, which I don't really count because they're only 20 gram minis. It's only 60 grams of yarn right here. So I don't really count those in my yarn stash. Um, I don't count it as a skinny yarn whenever I use it um, for my yarn stash because I put it in, I put the leftovers in for my memory blanket and I'm not counting any of that in my yarn stash either. Um, but I have used five skeins of yarn and I've only bought the one and then the two clubs that I'm in. So it'll be three skeins of yarn that I've bought this month. Um, if I finish all of the projects that I want to get done, I will have used up 10 skeins of yarn this month. So I'm super excited about that and trying hard to do it. So, okay. So for my exciting announcement, um, Sad news is, and I don't know that I talked about this on my last podcast, because I think I found it out later that day, um, but one of my yarn stores that is about 10 minutes down the road from my house, probably less, depending on lights, um, the owner passed away, and they are not planning on keeping the shop open. I don't believe there was anybody um, in her family that enjoyed knitting like she did. And they are in the process of closing her shop. While I would love, 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 love to own my own yarn shop, it is just not a feasible thing for me. Um, so, I decided that I'm going to try to do the next best thing. And for a while, I have thought about and toyed with dyeing yarn. So I decided to bite the bullet and I ordered some yarn, some dye, and a couple of other things that I need in order to get started in dyeing yarn. So, I have everything already here at home except for the yarn and the dye. Um, the yarn will be here tomorrow, and the dye is showing that it hasn't even shipped yet. So, I might have that to talk about on my next podcast or show. I might have some yarn to show you guys, and I might not. Um, so, I'm super excited to start this. And if I enjoy it, I plan on dyeing yarn and trying to sell it. And I plan on um, making more project bags and opening up an Etsy shop and selling my project bags and my yarn. Um, one thing that I know for sure that I want to do is once I hit a certain amount of subscribers, and I haven't decided that number yet, um, I plan on doing a giveaway. I have a project bag in mind that I'm going to make. I plan on dyeing yarn to match, and I'm going to try to get my hands on a progress keeper to also go with that. And so that will be a big giveaway. 
So I'm thinking that my subscriber number needs to be a big number. So that could take a while because when I looked this morning, while I have gained seven, yes, seven or eight new subscribers, which thank you guys so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, I have, I now have 57 subscribers. So I was thinking about doing a hundred subscriber giveaway. Um, but it won't be that, that one that I just talked about. Um, just because that's a pretty big prize. And so I want a good number of subscribers, maybe 500 or a thousand. I haven't decided yet. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe once I hit a hundred subscribers, I'll give away a smaller prize. I haven't decided exactly what that's going to be yet or not, or what that's going to be. I know for sure I want to do it when I hit a hundred. Um, so if you're watching this video and you enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Um, by hitting the subscribe button and the like button, it helps if you're watching this on your computer or maybe even on your iPad. I haven't ever watched on my iPad. I always watch it on my computer. Um, but there's a sidebar and it'll say, uh, it'll have videos of different podcasts that you might enjoy. It has you know, like recommendations or sometimes it'll have like uh, play next and it'll be like whoever you're watching this podcast will be like their next episode or whatever. So when you hit like or subscribe, it helps boost my podcast and put that on the side for people. It recommends it to them. So if you enjoy this, please like or subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, I think that is all the news I have for this podcast. Um, it's definitely all the knitting I have, but like I said, I'm going to go through my old projects, not old projects, just projects that I've kind of set aside and I'm going to start working my way through those. Um, so hopefully I will have more than just socks to show you guys and my blankets on the next podcast. Um, cause I know you guys probably are getting tired of seeing the same stuff. I mean, socks, I will always have socks. Um, just because I'm doing the box of socks and I'm trying to make socks for my family. So there will always be socks on my podcast. I can guarantee that right now. Um, but I do have several whips, um, that I've just set aside. And some of them I've been working on for years. And then I just set them aside. And I know for sure I have one cardigan that I started for my youngest daughter years ago. It's almost finished. And it is definitely not going to fit her now. Because she's 10 and I think it's a size like 5 or 6. So I need to get that finished. And I need to send it off to one of my nieces. Um, I have bought yarn for projects and it's still sitting in my closet. So I need to go through all my stash and I need to relook at what I have and reassign those projects or, you know, make them and give them to my nieces or I don't have any, I have one nephew. I do have one nephew who would be young enough to make something I had intended for my son that's a smaller size and send to him. But he lives in Florida. So, <laughs> um, some of the knitwear won't work. But, um, yeah. And then I really need to get back to doing my charity knitting. Um, cause I know for sure that I have started at least one scarf, maybe even two. And I, I need to set aside at least, you know, 15, 30 minutes out of my day and work on those things too. Because that's something important that I wanted to do. And summer will give me the time to build up a good stash to donate to um, homeless. And, you know, even some of the kids at the schools that I sub in that just 
they can't, their parents can't afford, you know, winter stuff and whatnot. So that is what I hopefully will be showing you guys on the next podcast will be a couple objects that I have sitting around and need to get finished. So that's my goal. And I have rambled on for enough today. <laughs> um, I have got to make some room because I have a treadmill coming today because a lot of you guys don't know, but I have been doing Weight Watchers on and off for almost a year now. I'm like three or four months shy of a year and I need to get back to it. And since the gym closed because of COVID, um, we just decided to go ahead and get a treadmill and cancel my gym membership, which the gym just opened back up last week, but I still don't feel good about going into a gym and working out. Um, and I know if I have the treadmill here at home that I will get on it. I've done it in the past. Um, my treadmill broke and that's why I got rid of it. So now's the time. Anyway, it's a knitting podcast. It's not a fitness podcast or any other kind of podcast. It's a crafting podcast. So I'm going to let you all run. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching this video today and keep on crafting guys. Bye.